everyone's talking about. Me? Really? Thank you. The hottest TV shows. On DVD. Yes. That's because there's something for everyone. Each one of us was brought here for a reason. You're coming with us. Are you trying to seduce me? I lost my panties. Mama, this is awkward. My ex is here and I want to piss him off, so just act like you're all hot for me and there's a hundred bucks tip in it for you. A date? <gasps> you can't be serious! Did you kill your wife? You scared the hell out of me, baby. Thank you. Betty! Betty. 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 You are an attractive, intelligent, confident businesswoman. Kitty, do you haul the circle is complete? Why didn't anybody tell me? What we don't tell you, Mom, could fill the Library of Congress. The kid showed up here this morning, and he's right up your alley. The boy has no family that you know of. He doesn't communicate, and he was found just wandering alone in the city. I haven't always wanted this gift myself. In fact, sometimes I absolutely hate it. Don't be. You have to cross over into the light. Sometimes it seems there's no punishment enough. FBI! What the hell do you think you're doing? I'm saving your daughter. No! So what do you think? Wow! Sparkles. Bring home the buzz with the best TV on DVD. The past is filled with incredible mysteries. The clues to solving them are all around, hidden in plain sight. But this story begins with the most famous assassination in history. Abraham Lincoln's killer, John Wilkes Booth, kept a diary. A diary that was found the night Booth was killed with 18 pages missing. Concealed in those pages is the key to something much, much bigger a conspiracy that crosses the globe, and a discovery that the world isn't ready to believe. So let's recap. We've broken into Buckingham Palace and the Oval Office, stolen a page from the president's super secret book, and actually kidnapped the president of the United States. What are we gonna do next? Short sheet the Pope's bed? Well, you never know. In the summer of 1994, there was a lunch. Uh, me, John Lasseter, Pete Docter, uh, the late Joe Ramp, all sat down. Toy Story was almost complete. And we thought, well, geez, if we're gonna make another movie, we gotta get started now. So at that lunch, we knocked around a bunch of ideas that eventually became A Bug's Life, Monsters Incorporated, Finding Nemo, and the last one we talked about that day was the story of a robot named Wally. -E. 
Just in time, head down the 405. Gotta meet the new boss by 8 a.m. Phone rings in the car. The wife is working hard. She's running late tonight again. Well, I know what I've been told. You gotta work to feed the soul. But I can't do this all. Superman. Superman. 